All right, good morning, good morning, good afternoon. I think it's afternoon now. Uh, I am on my way to go vote. Yep, here in New Jersey, we don't have the right to vote in person because we have a commie, a communist uh, dictator named Phil Murphy. He's our governor. And uh, he felt that it was not safe for us to go vote in person. Yes, he's a demon rat. I uh, felt that it was not safe for us to vote in person, even though we can go to Target, Walmart, ShopRite, uh, Walmart, whatever the hell mart there is. We can go to the liquor store. We can go anywhere we want. But we can't stand in a line six feet apart from people and vote independently because it will kill us, you know? So I'm, this is the ballot. I'll show you mine. I have three of them here. Yeah, three of them. So this is my ballot. It's sealed inside. It's sealed up. It has my name on it. And uh, I've done that. I have my wife's and I have my son Timothy's ballot. And in order to transport that, I'll show you Teresa's. You have to fill out and sign that I am the transporter of said ballot. Okay? So, <coughs> excuse me. So I had to fill it out and write down my who's and what's it, you know? And, uh, yeah. Uh, that's what I had to do. I had to write down and sign that I am transporting. So if I get pulled over by the police, yeah, the popo, if they pull me over and they see that I've got these three ballots, it's like a federal crime to transport these without filling out the name, my name on there and signing to that I am the bearer of these things. And, uh, yeah, so I just decided that I'm going to do that. Oh, and right now the name eludes me, but I'm sure he's still watching. He bought me 35 pounds of root beer barrels a few years ago. I'm still eating them. Yes, 35 pounds of root beer barrels. I think it was Big Trucker, all right? Big Trucker, something or other. I'm pretty sure that's who it was that bought these for me. I'll throw it out on the floor so it makes it into the receptacle. <coughs> Waterway. No, it won't. I clean my truck out from time to time. Uh, yeah, so I'm still eating these root beer barrels. They don't go bad. They're still in the original box. And uh, I sent a bunch of them to the Philippines, like 10 pounds of them to the Philippines. And uh, they're still, I guess they must have probably ate those. But anyway, I'm going to vote. I don't think I can zoom this in. But if you look out there, maybe you can zoom it in. But if you look out there, there is a gigantuan Trump sign being flown behind an airplane. And it's just hanging there. So I, I don't know how that airplane is even staying afloat in the air. But uh, that's a Donald Trump sign, make America great. It's gotta be a couple hundred feet across, man. That thing's huge. Maybe it'll come this way. I'm hoping it will, and I'll uh, film it then. All right, so I did get a new part for this Parker wagon, a new axle stub or spindle and hub. Yeah. I know Black Earth Excavating did not I did not respond to him. He sent me a thing saying that I could get this hub and axle or spindle, this hub and spindle from Parker. Well, uh, I've been to the Parker website. I couldn't find it. I, I didn't really look after he had mentioned that. Uh, kudos to him though for giving me that. But uh, what I have to do right now is actually just put the hub on. I had my nephew welded on yesterday. So this was a real bastard to get out of here. If you don't know, that goes all the way through here. And Parker, in their infinite wisdom, which I found to be rather a little overkill, uh, they actually welded it on both sides of each plate. There was four beads all the way around this on the other one. 
and it was just a real cocksucker for him to get that out of there. So, got a pile over there? Got a pile of it over there? Anyway, well, get it out of the way so that the new stuff doesn't go into it. Yeah. And we just shovel that in. You should have did that yesterday. Anyway, so the old axle stub or spindle was two and a half inches here. This new one is two and three quarters. It's a little heavier. So hopefully, and it has bigger bearings here and here. So hopefully everything holds together better. Uh, yeah, so that's that. I'm going to set you up and you can watch me fight with this thing. I do have to get some of this burring off of here so that the seal that rides on this here, I don't think he did a too good of a job. Well, he did a great job of welding, but he didn't clean that up. So it'll tear the seal out and it'll leave. All right, so I got this spindle cleaned up. There's a little bit of a lip right here. And I'll put in a better light right there. It looks about like a, uh, a, a dent or a hammer strike. So I'll go ahead and clean on that just a little bit more. It won't take much. It just can't have any sharp edges on it. Believe it or not, rubber is quite abrasive on steel. If you've ever taken these axle stubs a lot apart, the seal is still good. And then there's this uh, 32nd of an inch deep groove cut deep into the uh, into the axle stub. And that's from the rubber seal, the dust, and other things. They're pretty durable. So, there's that. And what I'll do is I'll just pre-fit this thing. So make sure it slides on there okay. Hmm. There it is. And that's it. And that will ride on there like a so. There we go. It's smooth. Fits nice. Everything looks good. I can barely feel that. So uh, I th I'm going to call that a non-issue right there, non-issue. But there is one thing that I'm going to do to this hub, or it is that hub. Ah, here it is. One thing I'm going to do to this hub, these are the bearings, by the way. They're pretty stout bearings. I'm hoping these are decent bearings. These are China bearings, obviously, made by a company called Pat. Oh, yeah, junk. I hate Chinese bearings. Hate them. I think they're the dumbest things. <sighs> so what I am going to do to this hub is I'm going to bore a hole right here. Right there. And I'm going to put a grease zerk in there. And the reason I'm going to do that is because none of these other hubs have it at all. And I've done this in the past with other hubs, but usually I'll just take and put it in the, in the cap. The problem with putting it in the cap is it the cap I don't know it's got to push it all the way through and by the time all that pressure is built up from here out it pushes the cap off and I don't want to do that so I'll just bore the hole there put in the uh, put in the new grease zerk and we'll put it in and grease it it'll be greasable and I'm gonna do all the other ones as well because there's plenty of room here to do it and none of these have it but I'm gonna bore it right Right about there, on each one. None of these have them. And I think that's a lot of the problems with these wagons and uh, gears of old, is that they just don't have a way to grease them. And then you've got this problem of, well, there's enough grease in the front because you take the cap off and you force grease into it, but it never makes it to the back and the back bearing goes out, or you just neglect it, which is what happens a lot, is they get neglected. Uh, we did grease those on there in the back the day that the front spindles went out. Believe it or not, the day the front spindle went out. So, anyway, let me get to this.
that pump grease gun. Pump grease gun. Pump grease gun. Big step foot thing. for all you I don't know how to pack a fucking grease thing. There you go. Alright, hold it there. good. Alright, I'm gonna get my uh, adjustable wrench. There should be an adjustable wrench right there, please. There it is. And we'll do this.
bit of grease coming out the back. Got on the seal. Blew the seal, but that's okay. We're good.